showing you how to use some sculpture tools. This is a mallet. I love mallets and hammers, so this is definitely my world. Uh, I want to take off some big parts and get rid of some things, and this will give me a little more clout because I can hit with it. Um, you can see that there are places on the mallet you don't want to use because they will split if you hit it on the wrong place. So I mainly want to get it right here on the front of the curved part. Um, this, is, this is on really solid. You go like this. It makes the mallet part go down here. Then I'm going to use a bigger chisel. Once again, I want the flat side, not the curved side. And I'm going to hold it here just like that. And you can see I'm really pushing with my hands to hold it like this and control it. But I'm going to be hitting it with this. Not hard, but just tapping it. So I'm making a line almost like a, you'd have when you tear paper so that these pieces of plaster will come off in a controlled fashion. Then I can go back to making it look like a rock. Occasionally I take off a little bit too much, but the nice thing about plaster is you can always add more. But you know, rocks don't usually sit flat all the way to the ground, so I want to have a little definition here. Now, most rocks have cracks and chunks in them, so here's my big chance to put a little edge in here so it looks like there's some rock breaking off. I can touch up anything I don't like with the files or with a little sandpaper. But you can see it starts to have edges just like a real rock then. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. <laughs> you can see that I've done a lot of damage in a very quick time with a chisel. So all you need is a nice sharp chisel. Uh, in some cases, if you don't have a chisel, you can actually use things like a butter knife. And you want to be able to put pressure on it in a controlled way and just take off the parts that you don't want. 